entire goal of our company is to be able to allow people to get out into the ocean, explore, gather scientific data, and being able to be a part of that is just so much fun. My name is Adam Simcoe. I'm a mechanical engineer at Blue Robotics, located in Torrance, California, just outside of LA. This is our big testing tank, the Crushinator, and this is a pressure test chamber uh, for crushing things to simulate ocean depth. Mechanical engineers are known as the jack of all trades of engineering, so I do everything from product design, mechanical, structural, electrical, all the way to development and testing, from the initial concept of a product all the way through production to the support of the product when it's out there, answering customer questions, updating the product, and just keeping everything running smoothly. Let's get some testing done. This is the Blue RV2, our flagship product, which is a culmination of all the products that we've put together over the last few years. There are now over 650 out in the world exploring every day. All right, can you test the lights? Nice. Can you test the gripper as well? Perfect, everything looks good. I think we're good to go. Blue Robotics is a company in the field of marine robotics. Our whole mantra is opening up the ocean and exploration to more people to make it easier to discover what's out there. And we do that by bringing down the cost of our products by a factor of five or 10 or more. Blue Tech is anything to do with getting into the water and learning more about it. It's especially cool to be a mechanical engineer in the Blue Tech industry because the more that we know about the ocean, the more that we bring it into the public eye, the easier it is to have conservation because people care about it then. So if you're interested in being a mechanical engineer or getting into Blue Tech, get experience. Education is a great start. Once you get into a job, nobody is really interested in the specific grades that you earned at school. You need to be able to, to graduate and get a degree, but it's really the experience. What have you done as a person? What kind of projects have you worked on? You need to demonstrate that you have a passion for things, that you're willing to learn, that you have a strong curiosity because you enjoy working on mechanical things. Interacting with people, customers, technicians that are putting together the products that you've designed is really critical. Right now the program over here that we have open is SolidWorks and I use SolidWorks to create the core of the Blue RV2 electronics tray and then this is the final product that we get. The top hard skills to know for mechanical engineering is you need to know how to design parts in a CAD package. So using a software like SolidWorks, Autodesk Fusion, Siemens NX at the high-end level, rapid prototyping is also a great technology to learn about. So 3D printing has completely changed the way that we can design parts now. This is a fully assembled Blue ROV2 electronics tray. There's the Pixhawk Autopilot, the Raspberry Pi uh, computer, the low light HD camera. It's a very tightly integrated package and you're ready to run an ROV with this. You are an engineer, so you are paid fairly well from the beginning, but you can go and focus on many different areas, from control systems to structural design to electronics. So wherever your interest is, you can focus on that, develop that, and become a much more valuable asset to whoever you're working for, and there's a lot of room for growth. I love my job a lot. I've been here at Blue Robotics for two years now, and it still doesn't quite feel like a job yet. The most fun part of the job is being able to get out a product like our thrusters, like the Blue RV2, and see what people are doing with it. 